Okay, okay. Hello, hello everyone. Hope you are well out there. This is Kurison Gamer, and welcome to this video of Nibbler on the Commodore 64 from 1985. So, it's a classic uh, snake maze game. So, let's see if we can get anywhere here. I need to collect all the stars here and try to avoid running into my own tail. So, yeah, classic snake scenarios. Um, so yeah, no music, uh, just simple sound effects, but it's okay. It's okay. Of course, uh, a little music would have topped this game up many notches, but um, I don't mind it quite either. So I have played Nibbler uh, on the arcade and uh, Apple II and Atari 8-bit. But those were those were licensed games, and this is um, like a clone. But it looks pretty cool. Simple graphics, but um, very challenging. Big maze with many corridors and uh, uh, stars located. Difficult. So here we go. I'm long, very long now. It's getting very challenging here. And it will, be, it will be even more difficult when I have to go into the center of the maze and try not to run into my own tail. So I should try to exit out here and um, try in from a new angle here. Like this. Something like this, yeah. Works pretty fine. Um, it's and I'm running out of time, so, but I don't have to start all over. I can pick up where I died, so, so I should try, try to finish this first level at least, and perhaps the second one as well. Let's see if it's possible. Seems to be quite achievable here on the get-go. Okay. Let's uh, exit out of here and try from this side. Try to go into the center here. This way. No, I missed. Ugh. Okay, I have to. Okay, I should go this way and try to... Yes, I made it. Ooh, that was pretty tight. So this is the second level. I should try to finish it. And then I will call it for today because I don't know if um, my viewers are super excited to watch this game for like 20-30 minutes. I don't think so. But if there are some who want me to play this for 30 minutes, you can comment in the comment section and I can do a private show, perhaps. Um, so yes, they contact me. So here we go. So far, so good. Okay, I have to go this way. There you go. Let's pick up these stars here on the outskirts first. Like this. Let's go for this one on top here first. And let's go into the center of the maze again here and do the best we can. The best I can. Ooh. No shit! I screwed up. I think. Yeah. So I'm not sure how many lives I have, but yeah, I think I have three lives, two lives left. This says down in the right corner. Okay. So here we go.
Okay, let's take this one first. No, I missed, I missed. <gasps> there, let's take this one first. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, let's go this way. It's not that easy. No, I completely missed. Okay. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, I missed again. Damn it. I'm running out of time as well. And I missed again. Okay, but I have three stars left, so I'm gonna make it. I must make it. It's a little bit embarrassing, to be honest. I start with with this one. I try to. Okay, we can take this one on the outskirts first here. There you go. So this is a little bit tr tricky located. This one. Let's go down here. Oh, I missed again. Okay, I have to. There you go, okay, yeah. All right, we have seen Nibbler now, two mazes. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's not a masterpiece when it comes to graphics, but it doesn't matter, it's a maze game. It doesn't need any sophisticated, extravagant uh, graphics. So, uh, gameplay-wise, it's a cool game, cool game, cool and addictive and uh, tricky when it comes to collecting all the stars. There are many rooms and many, uh, corridors and... Uh, it gets very, very difficult when the snake is very, very long. So uh, I think I'm going to give this game a 6 out of 10. And I'm going to come back and try to improve perhaps someday. In 2000 years perhaps, I don't know. Let's see. Who knows. Bye for now. Take care and have a good one. Goodbye.